And today we are looking at a special model. This is Prime Cuba. Prime Cuba is designed by David Gilday, and uh, I received a lot of messages about this robot. It looks fantastic. It is designed uh, just like uh, all the other Mind Cuba robots, okay, designed uh, using EV3. Um, but this one is designed using Spike Prime, and its sole purpose is to solve one of these. Okay, this is a Rubik's Cube. And did you know that the Rubik's Cube was invented in 1974? It was one of the most popular toys ever created. Um, there are something like 43 quintillion combinations of a Rubik's Cube. Uh, and just to get an idea of how, how many, how, how big a number that is, 43 quintillion is 43 with 18 zeros behind it basically. Uh, but even though there are so many different combinations, you can solve a Rubik's Cube with a maximum of 20 moves. Um, that is, of course, if you know the exact uh, move to make, then 20 moves is the theoretical magic number that is required to solve any kind of scrambled Rubik's Cube. But of course, uh, even the professional uh, Rubik's Cube solvers uh, will usually spend uh, many more moves than those uh, 20 moves. What we're going to do is we're going to watch Prime Cuba solve a Rubik's Cube, and then we're going to talk about all the different things that it does uh, that makes it so efficient at solving a Rubik's Cube.
One of the things that really impressed me about Prime Cuba is how efficiently it uses the motors. So we have three motors, one that controls the color sensor to scan the different colors of the faces. And then we have a motor that controls the arm that locks the uh, top half of the cube in place. And then we have a third motor that controls the rotation of the cube. And that's all that was required to manipulate this cube. Uh, the sensors that it uses is, of course, the color sensor to identify the scramble state. And then also we have an ultrasonic sensor, which is able to detect if a cube is in place or not. In terms of the coding, we are seeing a very, very systematic way of coding, which uses much less moves than uh, a normal person would use to solve a Rubik's Cube, but it is still uh, a lot more moves than the 20 moves uh, of that magic number. But it looks like uh, uh, from David's website that he's in the process of creating uh, a better algorithm for solving the Rubik's Cube. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so much, guys, for recommending this robot to me. Uh, it looks fantastic. It is hypnotic to watch, and uh, I'm sure uh, I will have a lot of fun with this robot. Thanks very much for watching. And if you are interested in more Spike Prime, then definitely check out our other videos. We have a whole bunch of other Spike Prime projects, some that we have designed ourselves that are freely available on YouTube. So definitely check it out. See you again next time.